Yeah. I was reading this uh, thing that said uh, the Bush administration thought that pot was just as bad for you as cocaine. Now, that's ridiculous. I don't advocate drugs for anybody, but that is kind of sick. Two different drugs. Cocaine is evil. Cocaine, you lose your house. You lose your car. You lose your family. Pot, you lose your keys. <laughs> you, you still have your house and your car. You just can't get into it for a while. So, go with it, man. Sit on the lawn and watch the lemons ripen until your wife gets home. I think the president of the United States should have to smoke pot. There would be no more war. Imagine the president of the United States on the White House lawn smoking a big joint. Somebody runs up. Hey, we got to bomb Somalia. Why? Well, they're hungry. They're hungry. Been on the lawn for the last three hours. Starving. What are you doing on the lawn? I lost my keys. <laughs> I where I had them, man. I in my jacket. I went to talk to Secretary of State. What are we talking about? <laughs> I would love that if the president smoked weed. Yeah. Hey, we're gonna bomb some oil. We're not gonna do that in a minute. We're gonna invade our Ren Ren and Stumpy's arm. Sit down, dude. <laughs> Although, if the president smoked weed, then all, everybody on Mount Rushmore would look like this. <laughs> I think Clinton got high. Yeah. You know? Remember when he was getting investigated for that Monica Lewinsky shit? The man actually said, it depends on what is in this. <laughs> I used to talk like that when I did mushrooms. <laughs> That was some steel brass bald shit he did. Depends on what is is, baby. And you met Miss Lewinsky at a cocktail party. Do you remember when it was? Depends on what was was. I mean, is I the am I was? Or am I the was I once will be? You know you're being impeached. Impeached? Impeached. Them peached. <laughs> and I'm absolutely convinced George Bush does drugs. You ever hear him try to talk? You ever hear George Bush trying to sum something up? It's kind of crazy. People still ask me about what we're doing in Iraq still. You know, it's like, it's like the book, Moby Dick. You know, in the book, uh, you know, there's this captain. You know, that's what I am, I'm the captain. And then in Moby Dick, this captain, uh, Captain Hook, I think his name, Captain Hook, is, uh, you know, he's chasing this uh, great white uh, shark. Chasing shark because sharks eating people. It's on the base terrorizing people. You can't get rid of the shark. So in the, in the, in the book, uh, the captain's uh, partner, uh, I don't know, in the book he's played by Richard Dreyfuss. <laughs> He was the captain's partner, he was, uh, Tennille. <laughs> yeah. His name was Tennille. So Captain Hook and Tennille, and then they got to put a scuba tank in the shark's, uh, in the shark's lips. And that's all we're doing in Iraq. <laughs> put a scuba tank in the shark's lip. <laughs> Why can't you understand what I'm talking about? <laughs> you know, people don't want us to cut and run. I tell them, uh, you know, you can't run with the big dogs, you know. Get out of the kitchen. Because you know, dogs don't belong in the kitchen, you know. And, uh, you know, all we're trying to do is blow the shark lips off the dogs. So. 
Welcome back to Larry King Live. I'm Larry King. What the hell was the president talking about today? He called our military scuba tank. Compared Dick Cheney to Richard Dreyfus.